So I'm Steve Conish, and here's a quick Ansible Tower demonstration. Ansible playbooks have become the de facto automation standard since it's simple, agentless, and platform agnostic. But many organizations are challenged to automate and scale across dispersed teams. Ansible Tower from Red Hat can help you accelerate your DevSecOps automation journey. Ansible Tower provides a GUI and REST API, which provides visual feedback, provides change tracking and change control and an audit trail of automated execution. It gives you secure access to systems with role-based access control, so you could have multiple organizations, multiple user accounts across teams. It also ties into Git and Jenkins and ensures integrity and security of the playbook at runtime. It gives you great scalability across teams, so you can reach more systems in more locations. It also has great logging, with different verbosity levels for health insight and efficiency. So one feature that our customers find especially appealing is the role-based access control within Ansible Tower. Let's imagine you have multiple teams. I'll simplify it in this case, a development team and an operations team. And let's say you have an org administrator. Now each one of these teams might typically have their own development environment or, and production environment, you know, completely different sets of systems. Or if this was in IoT example, you might have uh, multiple IoT devices in the development environment, and then production would have a uh, you know, completely different set of systems. Uh, but of course, you know, there's a handoff between these teams on how they develop and test, and then hand that off to production. Uh, so there has to be some interaction between the teams, but with different security levels and roles um, across those teams. So I built up a quick demo just to show uh, Ansible Tower with this organization set up. And obviously I don't have many systems in my home lab, but I I'm going to show you how you can develop um, a similar environment with just a, a couple systems real affordably. Um, so I'm going to be using a couple Raspberry Pis. And I'm going to go run you through um, different playbooks or with different use cases. Uh, so for the development organization, we're going to show you how we can um, maintain or update uh, the operating system on the Raspberry Pi, um, as well as you know do things like reboot the system. Now on the production environment, we've actually got a 4K camera attached to the Raspberry Pi, so we can do fun things like take pictures, record videos, and we can also update the operating system and reboot the appliance. So let's go ahead and log in as admin. So when we log in, you can see the dashboard. Let's go ahead and start with the organizations. So we've set up um, a development and operations organization, as well as the default, which includes the admin user. And we set up three accounts, uh, the admin account, which was set up by default. And then we've set up a user that belongs to the development organization called dev user. And then one user for the ops organization called ops user. Next, let's click on the inventory. So as I mentioned on the diagram, we're just gonna have two systems that we're managing in this case. So here we just have two Raspberry Pis, Pi 1 and Pi 2, and Pi 2 has the actual camera mounted. So now let's switch to the templates. We actually have six uh, Ansible playbooks, and the first two are gonna be for the first Pi in the development organization, and we just have two simple playbooks, one to upgrade the operating system and another one to reboot it. For the second pie and the operations organization, we're gonna have four separate playbooks that we can use. One to upgrade the operating system, another to reboot the Raspberry Pi, and another two to take a picture and record a video. So let's go ahead and log out, and we'll log back in as the dev user. Let's go ahead to the templates. So let's go ahead and start the job to upgrade the appliance. And we can see that it's running. And if we scroll down, we can see output. Okay, we can see that it completed. So let's go back to the templates view. And we can see that we can also reboot the appliance. We can click launch. Okay, we can see that that finished successfully. 
Okay, let's switch to the operations user or ops user. Okay, let's go to the templates view. Here we can see four different playbooks we can run. Since we've already done the upgrade and the reboot on the other server, let's go ahead and take a picture using the 4K camera on board the Raspberry Pi. And let's also take a video. So we'll run those two playbooks. So upon completion of these two playbooks, it's going to upload the video and the picture up into our desktop folder. So you'll see it on the bottom left. So let's start by running the take a picture playbook. And you can see that it's running and upon completion, you're going to see a file with my headshot in the lower left. And there it is. Okay, let's do the same with a video. Let's go back to the templates and run the record a video playbook. Click launch. And you can see it's running and it's recording a video. And again, you're going to see the uh, video file in the desktop folder. So let's go ahead and open up. And there it is on the right. And again, it's just my headshot. So that concludes this demo. Thanks a lot for watching.